ladies and gentlemen, this is JD. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, please hit like, and please share with others. I have a Jazzmaster Traveler GMT2 Auto. It is a fully automatic wristwatch. Retails for around $1,500 Canadian. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous wrist, wristwatch. And before I start talking about the various features of this wristwatch, I just want to show it to you very slowly here. It's a gorgeous stainless steel case with a see-through back. So this watch is reference number H3262 5555. It sports a caliber 2893-2 GMP movement. This movement runs at 28.8. It's a fully automatic movement, as you can see. That's the rotor with the Hamilton markings on it. The case size is 42 millimeters. It's 10.9 millimeters thick is very reasonable for a wristwatch. Stainless steel material and sapphire crystals on both sides. It has a power reserve of 50 hours and a water resistance of 200 meters. These are screw down crowns on both the left and right hand side and it has an open case back as you can see. The leather being used here is actually ostrich leather. And you can see the markings on the ostrich leather. leather. The clasp is a single clasp here with the Hamilton markings on the clasp. Again, all stainless steel. And this watch is a GMT watch. I've taken the crowns back a bit, pulled the stem out, and as you can see, it has the date. And if you turn the uh, crown here, you can actually change the date. So I have to turn it the right way here. There we go, five. Very smooth working on the crown here. And the date snaps into place. And it is a GMT. So the crown here is screwed down, so if I push slightly in, it's sprung, and I should be able to screw this in. So let me just turn this around here very carefully, and screw the crown in, like so. And it screws in with very little effort. So I take this crown out, and I screw it to this, I pull it out to the second position, and I should be able to set the time on this watch. So if I turn the crown in the second position, it's the first position there, and the second position should allow me to change the time, as you can see. So I'll turn this watch so you can see the beautiful face on this watch. And there you go. So we're changing the time on the watch. And you notice the small hand turns as well. That small hand is the GMT turn hand. So as the our hand goes around once in 12 hours. The GMT hand goes around once in 24 hours. And this allows you to track the time. And you can see the outer ring on the watch with its markings. Um, it's a 24 hour ring on the inside of the outer ring above the 12th marking right here. And then this outer ring here that I've also screwed out lets you set the reference time as well so that you can actually time. So that's the reference time there. So the GMT hand does not move independently on this watch, but yet it has this outer ring that allows you to further set time. This is a Swiss-made GMT watch as well. Both crowns, you can depress both crowns for waterproofing. And I can turn this crown like this and set that, and then turn the second crown and set it. Now if I push that crown in and wind it, 
it'll also manually wind the watch as well. So I can wind that watch and get that running again. and then turn this like this. Now this watch hasn't been active for quite some time, but there it goes. It starts running. And of course, if you're wearing the watch, the rotor in the back will cause the mainspring to wind. So there's a gearing mechanism underneath that rotor that allows that mainspring to wind. And as you can see in the back, it says, let me just rotate this just a bit again, that it is stainless steel. It's 2893-2. That's the movement number. It's a sapphire crystal. It is Swiss made by Hamilton. The reference number is H32-2650 water resistant to 20 bars and they also have it in PSI which I don't think I've seen before very beautiful marking on the on the watch on the rotor itself says Hamilton it in small brackets it says 21 and that's likely 21 joules so it also has it in writing right beside it and it also says joules on the right hand side I just noticed so that's a 21 joule. Uh, it's the, the rotor is very smooth. If I twist it this way, you'll see the rotor flip. There we go. So there's no, it, it, there's very little friction on the rotor. Very nice rotor. So that'll wind the watch without any problem. What's unique about this watch is that there are screws, as you can see, uh, on the outer edges here of the case back. So you actually have to remove these screws to take the case back off, as opposed to some case backs that are screwed down. So you have to be very careful and make sure if this watch is taken in for service that the screws are in tight enough to keep the case back snug and that appropriate lubrication is, is made to all seals on the case back. Now you can see this um, very beautiful strap it comes with 22 millimeter lug to lug strap and it is Hamilton markings on the strap and the strap number is H60-0326 and if I look at the other side of the strap as I said before it's ostrich leather which is just gorgeous and it's got a slight bump in the center of the strap which gives it a bit of style and again there's markings on the clasp which is very nice it's a stainless steel clasp obviously and there you go and it's leather stitching so it's got a very light beige leather stripping on the stra strap as well which is gorgeous and this watch again will run you around fifteen hundred dollars Canadian yeah, just a gorgeous, gorgeous watch. The hands are dagger hands, and they do have loom in the center of the hands. So they work very well with the, the actual coloring of the, uh, of the face of the watch. So, and the outer ring is a pure white outer ring. The inside ring looks to be a metal finish. So again, this watch is a very beautiful watch. You could call it a business watch, but as Hamilton themselves say, with its second time zone, the Jazzmaster Traveler GMT can make sure you're in two places at once. Whether you're a business traveler living between cosmopolitan capitals, or you want to keep your mind on your next holiday destination, it's sure to help you broaden your horizons. What a gorgeous watch. So let me just rotate this watch again slowly so you can see it up close. It's 
showing reflections of my camera and myself in the background. Quite amazing. I am a watchmaker. I don't just play one on TV. And this is one of my favorite watches. I bought it for my birthday as I was returning from Australia. And I just had to get it. It was just so, so gorgeous. And the raised numbers, the 12 o'clock position, 6 o'clock position, and the 9 o'clock position, and the indices marking every hour, just add to it. And I just can't take my mind off of that beautiful movement and the way it's displayed through the case back. The slight curve of the case back as it surrounds the movement. So an exceptional watch and it's exceptionally styled. And I think one of Hamilton's best wristwatches.